Hello, hello, hello. It's Advent Calendar Time. Woo! I'm so excited to be here with y'all today. Um, I am doing my Clarence Advent Calendar. Bada boom, bada bing. But guess what? We're on the last day of it. I know, I'm very sad. This is day 12 <laughs> of my Advent Calendar. There are only 12 drawers in here. Now I did, however, therefore thus, refill this back up with products in my own collection to get to 24 days of my advent calendar, but it's kind of gone. <laughs> I'm very sad. I really enjoyed this calendar. This was like well worth my money. Um, I loved trying the new brand to me. Um, I mean, I know Clarence has been around for like years, but I haven't really tried it. I was so excited to try this. And there's been some like really good products in here. Like the hand cream was really good. I really like some of their face stuff, like lotion-wise. Their blush was beautiful in here. Mascara, I ended up loving. So I'm very, very impressed with this calendar. It was well worth my money in my mind. But let's go through what I used up the last two weeks, and then we'll open up my 12th day, which is, I don't know, it's just very sad to me. But I'm excited about the products that you did put in here. You can see it's like, it's fully in there <laughs> again. I am stocked up. So let's go to it. The first thing that I used two weeks ago is this Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. Um, I use this as a primer. I use this as a pore filling primer. It is a pink putty primer. You'll see here I used it a couple of times, although it doesn't really look like it. Kind of, there we go. You can kind of see the crest on that. Can you see it? Um, a little of this goes a long way. It's a silicone based style primer where you just push it into the pores. It's very simple. Um, it works just like the professional does that benefit. And I do think it's a good product. I do think it smoothed my skin, but I do think that like, um, there are dupes out there. If you love Clarence, this is a great product, but um, it wasn't one that like stood out to me. It's something that I could easily do with other things in my collection. I'm gonna continue using it because like I do use products like this and it did leave the skin looking smooth. Now it says you don't have to put on foundation over top of it. I did find that like if you put too much on, it will ball up a little bit. So a little dab of this will do Yeah, You just push it into the pores and you're good to go. I, this wasn't a standout product out of this one, but like I think if you've never used a pore filling primer, you'd really like it. <laughs> but I've just used a lot of pore filling primers in my ears doing makeup. All right. Oh, I don't know why. I just got like really sad. I'm like, oh man, it's my last Clarins product. Let's go to door number 12. Okay, this is a huge one. Look at that first big drawer, big product. Let's see what it is. This is called the Beauty Flash Balm Brightens Titans. That's what she looks like, the box. The Clarins boxes all kind of look the same. Um, neither that's nor it's neither here nor there. It just kind of is what it is. And this is the the Instant Radiance Booster revives skin beauty for a softer, smoother, healthier looking complexion. And it's supposed to help minimize the signs of fatigue and or stress. Perfect before going out or whenever you want to refresh your appearance. Works to instantly promote fresh looking, fresh looking features? What? I don't know what that means. And smoother skin. It appears softer, the complexion period more luminous and radiant. Is this a spray? It says balm though. Is it just like a, what is it? Oh, this is a good size. This is a 1.7, I bet this is full size. This is a 1.7 ounce. Um, what, it, it is a balm. It's definitely in like a squeezy tube. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know why. There's something about this one that's getting me excited. It seems so weird to say that. Oh, it's, it's not a balm. It's a very thin lotion. Okay. This is what it looks like, very thin lotion style. Put this on. has definitely a fragrance in it. It's gonna sound weird. It smells like a flower that smells like licorice. <laughs> yep. Oh, and look at that. It does, it has, I'm in love with this look this summer. This is gonna look great. I actually have a wedding this weekend and I'm gonna put it all over my decolletage. This is definitely something I'm gonna use for that. This has that just little bit of shine to it. Do you see that? It's just like, if you can pay a wrist, That one just has that little reflect to it. This one doesn't. You see that just little, little reflect. It's just 
that little metallic moisture looking skin, I get it, fresh looking features. It looks super hydrated and a little bit dewy. That's what this does. Um, I don't think you can put this over makeup. This is definitely gonna have to go under makeup or you're gonna wear it with a bare face. I can see myself wearing this at like my decolletage area um, or like somewhere. You, well, you know, I kind of wear the Charlotte Tilbury on my face. This is not a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. It doesn't have that much reflection under it. But I think if you're wearing like a tinted moisturizer, you just want a little bit more glow under that, that will do. But I think the Charlotte Tilbury looks better on any foundation where it has like a little bit more zig and zang out of it. But this will be nice on like shoulders, decolletage, legs even. I think it's interesting they call it a balm. Beauty Flash Balm. Brightens and tightens. I wonder if it does actually tighten. It's a little hard to tell, you know, on your hand if something tightens, but... I think that looks fantastic. I'm excited about this product. Um, I am gonna try it underneath foundation just to like see, make sure that that like little suggestion is the way it is, but it definitely has less of a reflection than the Charlotte Tilbury does. So um, I have the Charlotte Tilbury on today in case y'all were wondering what that glow is. It's Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll give this one a go and see what I think about it. Yay, I'm excited. And that does look full size. Let me do a quick check to make sure Oh my gosh, it is full size, 1.7 fluid ounce. This is worth $49. That's what Ulta.com says, $49 on it. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. And this has five stars on Ulta.com. 161 reviews, five full stars. That's, I never. I don't think I've ever seen anything with like straight up five stars on it. Okay, a lot of people are saying this that... Um, oh, that's interesting. One person said it's not only for Asian skin. I'm African American, dark skin, and I love this product. It gives me even tone. And I have dry skin, and it's very moisturizing. I've been using this product for ten years. Wow! It brightens my skin and makes and creates a more youthful look before I apply or mix into my foundation. When I'm really tired, I use it as a mask. Wow. I'm postmenopausal and often my skin looks dull. This product gives me a youthful glow. Okay, yeah, okay, this is so. People have been using it for 30 years? Dang, you've been around for a long time. Um, I just turned 35, so I was five years old when this person started using this product. I use it instead of moisturizer, and it creates a lovely base for my foundation or even a tinted moisturizer. Um, interesting. I don't know if this has enough hydration for me to be like a straight up moisturizer. No, I've got, um, I, I mean, I've got normal to dry skin, so I do tend to put on more moisturizer than I think I should, but interesting. I don't know if I could use it as a moisturizer, but maybe as a primer. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll be back in two weeks to tell you what I think about the beauty balm. And let's get to it. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy panning, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.